what's up youtube welcome back to the channel if you don't know my name is demetrius owner of demary photography and if you do know and you're subscribed to the channel welcome back for another video family in today's video i wanted to go over product photography i recently opened up a candle line called emal and i needed some creative shots to for advertising so in this video i'm going to give you a behind the scenes look of my setup and my equipment that i use in order to achieve these shots so let's jump right into it all right right here i'm just moving my cart in place um in the place that i want to get the shot i'm setting my can candles up me and my wife recently put uh wallpaper on this wall is peel and stick wallpaper and i felt like my product would look good against that texture and i was right uh, i was uh, satisfied with the shots that I got but um, right here is my c-stand I'm gonna set up my c-stand to angle where I think the shot will be at I'm having a little trouble uh, <laughs> getting my c-stand on trying to figure out what position I wanted to be in but I think I got it right here I'm just putting some weights to balance the C stand out. So once I do put my my uh, strobe on there, it won't uh, tilt over. So I'm connecting my strobe. That is a Godox uh, SL150 video strobe or video light. Um, I'll link in the description below where I got it from. So in this shot, I wanted, I know I wanted a little slit of light to come in on the product. And I, I felt like that would, that would give it a creative look, a dark moody look. Um, that's what I was looking for. So I'm using my V flats to give me a slit of light. So I got these V flats from V flat world. Um, they are expensive, but uh, do they come in handy? They come in handy all the time. Every shoot, I probably use my V-flats to block out light or to add or bounce light back into my subject. But today I will be using them to create a slit of light on to the product. I struggle with these two with these v-flats <laughs> they're they're so big uh they're they're worth the money if you're gonna invest in something or you just do your research on them and i'm pretty sure once you get further in your photography career you will be investing in these um they're good to have in the studio with you but they are huge and sturdy that's what that's why i bought them But yeah, I'm still struggling to get them in position. So as you can see with that light going through that little slit, it's giving a, a little slit of light through there. I didn't want a lot of light, just a little slit of light. Give me the dramatic look. To get the best lighting, you have to kill all the lights. I want the ambient light to clash with your video light. So you you want to cut all the lights off. So I shot this with my EOS R. Um, I had a hundred millimeter lens on there. So I just needed a little bit more position, but I had, had a EOS R with a hundred millimeter lens. My go-to lens for any product, any product shots is gets such great detail. It gives such great detail for, to be a L lens and it's very cheap. So I took a couple of shots of this and I was super satisfied with the results. Like I said, this is my candle line. It's called Emal. And I just need to create the shots to, for advertising. 
now right now I'm, I'm lighting the candle I wanted to get a, a smoke effect I could have added it in Photoshop but I wanted the real thing if you can get it in camera do it and don't worry about getting it in Photoshop afterwards but I felt like this was a dope shot and I did post these uh, pictures online and I got a lot of a lot of feedback with these pictures but it's it's that simple i'd have two v flats a video light and my camera that's it just those three things and you will get a dramatic shot like this one for advertising purposes all right guys that's it if this video was somewhat helpful please like and subscribe to the channel i will be uploading more product behind the scenes video in hopes to motivate others to get out and shoot or to learn something from my techniques that I'm doing that I'm doing to get creative with my product shots. Um, I really feel like it's a need for product photography, especially in the candle community. And if I can teach someone to shoot their own products at home, that will in turn bring themselves and that's what I'm trying to do. So I will be uploading more, hit that notification, hit that bell to get notified when I upload another video. And thank you for sticking around this far. You guys have been great. Love you. Peace.